All right, so today I wanted to talk to you about being able to make your own journal uh, for your class to go along with your lessons. So my journal that I created for this semester is a impression journal, or at least this is what I call it. Um, so what I did is, or what it is, is it's a goal journal. Um, the students are um, challenged uh, each month to create or to um, accomplish or maintain a goal. Um, for example, the first one is a fashion goal. So I went through and on Word, a Word document, I created individually each sheet. Um, and there, I've got some pictures off of the internet, Pinterest, things like that. Um, workout goals, uh, there's a get fit challenge, a sleeping, a sleeping challenge, um, there's photography and uh, drinking water, things that I already kind of sort of did in my classroom, but I never really established it into something um, concrete. So I really wanted to put it um, into work and I also wanted to collaborate with and support our English department and um, help the students to write more uh, in the class. Uh, cosmetology you do write but not as much as you would in your other classes because mainly we're hands-on on mannequins and makeup and hair and all those things so I wanted to do uh, make those changes this year so um, on the front cover they're just going to create uh, cut and paste they can draw whatever they like just to personalize their journal um, and then their name at the bottom and um, it just has the school emblem on it and then the word impression, the definition, and then on the bottom I have them create their artist signature, which is like when an artist signs a painting or something of the sort. So I have them practice that and put that here. Um, I'll obviously make them practice before we actually put it put it in the journal so that you know they don't mess it up. Um, each month we'll go through and see what the challenge is. I'm going to do the challenges with them just to, you know, show them it can be done and for support and to encourage them as well. There's some places here that I left for uh, journaling, for writing. They can copy, paste, cut, whatever, you know, get artsy with it if they like and um, check off their goal as it goes along. Um, with this, I am going to incorporate social media along into the classroom. So they will be posting on social media how they're doing throughout their um, challenge. So the fashion goal is to take a picture with a scarf or take a picture today wear, you know, tennis shoes or today, you know, wear your a bun. So then they'll take the picture and they'll post it. And maybe that way, once they see all their friends posting it, it will also encourage them to do so. So this is a fun challenge. And so it'll get them ready for the next one, especially the especially the next one because of the workout challenge and then just to help them maintain a healthy lifestyle and also when you're a hairdresser you're on your feet all day you know as hairdressers we all know you know you don't ever get a 30 minute lunch you typically eat over the sink if you get a chance to eat so definitely being able to um, help them uh, have a healthy body and healthy uh, lifestyle so that way you can support their career um, that they choose, whether it be cosmetology or something else. Um, so then there's two blank spaces after each challenge sheet. And this one is going to be, they're going to create some kind of a chart. So this is where math comes in. Um, they, it can be a, a bar chart, a, it can be any kind of chart, graph of any sort. And so they're going to map out, you know, Okay, Monday, September the 1st or whatever day it is. Uh, yes, I did 10 minutes of workout uh, one of the, the challenges is push-ups I did five push-ups today tomorrow I did seven push-ups and the next day I'd, you know so this is how they're gonna challenge and they have space for journaling and adding maybe if they saw a clip out uh, in the magazine and they want to cut that out clip it out and glue it on here just for some inspiration they can do that too they can write in each other's journals to encourage each other hey good job or whatever the case may be so um, that is the journal for this school year and I wanted to also show you teachers how to create it it's actually really easy so um the first sheet and the back sheet are cardstock paper and it's just regular computer paper in the middle after you print up all of your sheets front and back um, what you do is you grab this machine called a combine c20 
our department uh, has this. The CT department at our, our school has it, and they let me borrow it. Um, uh, the Collaborative Learning Center, the Media Center, also has one of these, a few of these machines that you are welcome to use. Um, but they're not that, that expensive if you choose to buy one for yourself. And you also need some of the um, vines or plastic combs, they're called. And these plastic combs, it depends, um, it will tell you on the card how many sheets of paper it will take, and they're just these little binds. So what you do is you take your stack of sheets. I'm gonna turn the camera. Okay, this is a machine. Take your stack of sheets, and then you're going to insert them. Well, this is too big. You have to split it in half, but you insert the sheets through the slot and then what you do is you're going to push down i slid it out because i've already made my hole punch um you push it down you make your hole punch again if it's too many papers you might have to split it in half and then what you do is you're going to take your and i'm going to pull it this way you're going to take your comb and there's these little knobs here you're going to you see the teeth have to go upward you're going to insert and then you pull this lever and it opens and stretches your teeth and then what you do and i can't do this with one hand but you come in or let's see can i and it pulls the teeth through the indention or the holes in the sheet when you're done you're going to pull the sheet out or the sheets out and it will have the bind on it already so it's an easy way to create a journal. There's uh, different size binds, or I keep calling them binds, they're combs. They're different size, these are bigger size for um, 85, I believe, to 100 sheets. The smaller binds that um, are, are available, there's like one to 20 sheets. So depending on what your lessons require, then you can change the size of the binds, um, the combs. So anyway, I'll share how this goes and if the students liked it, I hope they do, but definitely allows um, there a little bit of collaboration between the English department and the math department just to give them a little bit of that support and I'll be talking to those teachers, asking them for their input, hey, what do you think, what kind of charts or graphs or well, what, do you, what kind of journaling do you think, um, you know, I could encourage the students to do in these journals. So um, hope you try it out for yourself.